Many serious Christians have been deceived and captivated by the devil's church system, which is Babylon itself. Dear friends, the church system does not serve God. It serves Satan and the flesh. The church system has captivated, it has enslaved, grabbed hold of many preachers who were called by God to preach the gospel, preach the truth. But once the church has got hold of them and they've gone through seminary, they are useless for the kingdom of God because then they have become a slave of that institution. They've been molded into the form of the Babylon church. And that church is their boss. Jesus is not the king anymore. They are employed by the church. They work for the church. And they preach the doctrines of the church. They don't speak the truth from Christ. If they would speak the truth, they will be out of a job. So, the church feeds them. The church is their God. The church is their boss. And they abide by the rules of the church, even though they know the truth. But they have traded the truth for a lie. Because that church has become their God. Many Christians who seriously seek Jesus are trapped in the church. Because they believe. They've been deceived into believing that that church is the body of Christ. It is not. Those people themselves are slaves of the church. They serve the church. They don't serve Jesus Christ. They are not in a relationship with Jesus. His sheep know his voice. They listen to him. They don't listen to strangers. They do the truth. They seek the truth. The church is not the truth, my friend. The church is a lie. It is founded and built on lies. If you want the truth, there's only one truth, and that is Jesus Christ. You follow Him every day of your life. You stop sinning. You become a slave of righteousness, of doing the will of God. What separates man from God is sin. And the church doesn't bring you closer to God. Holiness does. Because without holiness, no man shall see God. There are some very wicked people in churches. There are some extreme sinners, unrepented sinners in churches, in pulpits, because it's acceptable to church. It makes money. Sin pays, friends. Sin pays. But if you follow Jesus Christ, you will suffer persecution. You will be rejected. The church is part of the Babylon system. It's part of this world system. They derive benefits from the system. They're tax free. They've captivated you and some others who give money to keep them alive. They're dependent on you. They're not dependent on God. Have you got a relationship with Jesus? What is your first priority, my friend? Is it to please Jesus and live in righteousness and holiness? Is your sight set on Christ? Are you busy with the Lord Jesus all the time? Are you keeping your garment clean? Because without holiness, nobody shall see God. No sinners will go into heaven, my friend. Sinners are. Welcome in church. They are all sinners. Because it's not about holiness. To church, 
It is not about pleasing God. It's not about righteousness. It's about the survival of that community, of that church. But my friend, without holiness, nobody shall see Christ. If you sin, you cannot say uh, you know Jesus. Because the moment you sin, and that sin is, comes in between you and God, what will keep you out of heaven, my friend, is sin. Be holy. Be righteous. Don't be a slave of church or the church system. Become a slave of righteousness. Become obedient to Jesus Christ. Focus on Him all day long. Seek to please Him, not people. Don't try and be accepted by people. Seek the acceptance of God. And the only way that God will accept you, my friend, is if you stop sinning altogether. But if you still love sin, you hate God. Because Jesus said, Why do you call me Lord and you do not what I say? Friends, if you're not righteous and holy, you don't love Christ. But if you obey Jesus Christ, then you prove that you fear Him and you love Him. And then you're a friend of Christ. But He will say to many people, both clergy and churchgoers, He will say to them, Go away, I never knew you. You who work unrighteousness, you who sin. My friend, as long as you sin, willfully, you're not a child of God, then you're a child of the devil, even if you belong to that church. Come out, my friend, and follow Jesus. Be righteous and be holy, and He will accept you. May Jesus bless you.